This is just a quick little snippet I'm actually adding into this video after I've already finished making it. Treyarch 20 minutes ago gave us some new information about the round base map and stuff that we're getting an outbreak next season. It's not enough information to add in its own video, so I'm be putting this information at the end of this video. So if you watch all the way to the end of this video, we're going to have a little bit of information that was just released put at the end of it. So with that, let's move into the video. Okay, you can, you can start it. Let's roll into the video. Come on. All right, and welcome back, guys. In this video, we're going to be talking about some hints that Treyarch has given us about some massive balancing changes coming next season in Season 4. If you guys have been playing Cold War Zombies for a while now, you know probably the most massive balancing change we've got throughout the entire game's life cycle was them taking the zombies health cap of 30,000 and increasing that all the way up to 123,000 with the season three reloaded update. That made the max health cap of the zombies four times more than what it was previously. And, and you could notice that heavily in game as you got to around 40, 50, 60, and especially when you got into the 80s, you realize the zombies had way more health and using bullet weapons at that point pretty much became trivial. There are very few weapons you can use in the game right now at around 85 plus that are going to really do much of anything. Obviously, all three of the wonder weapons are still your best bet. The ray gun, the ray K, and the die shockwave still perform fairly well at these higher health caps, but most of the bullet weapons fall off. I know the amp and the M16 still perform well, even the pump action shotgun. But other than that, most of the bullet weapons just aren't usable. And you really need to switch to wonder weapons to make these high rounds possible. Which this isn't necessarily a bad thing. In older Call of Duties, you had to be using Wonder Weapons to get, you know, past round 100, 200, and stuff like that. Even with the health cap of 120,000, it's still relatively easy to hit round 100 plus. It's just not as easy as what it used to be. Given all that, I'm not really sure how I feel about the new health cap in Zombies. When it first came out with Season 3 Reloaded, I didn't really like it, but I think it's grown on me a little bit, and I don't think it's the worst thing ever. I don't know if I prefer to have it how it is now, or how it was previously, but I guess it really doesn't matter because they're changing the health cap once again in season four. We've got a tweet here giving us a little bit of a sneak peek of some of the changes coming in season four. This tweet's by Kevin Drew. He's a lead system designer for zombies in Cold War. Now, the first set of important information we get from this tweet is once again talking about updating the health cap another time. He's replying to a tweet from Jay Rizzo talking about the current health cap, and this is what he has to say. Another pass will be coming with the next map. We will be lowering the health cap back closer to the old model, but adjusted for weapon buffs in Season 3. Now, the first thing about this tweet that sticks out to me is he's talking about the next map. I wonder if they mean the next Outbreak map or the next round-based map. We're probably going to be getting a new Outbreak map at the start of Season 4 next week. However, the new round-based map probably isn't coming till midpoint next season. So if this update he's talking about isn't coming out to the next round-based map, we probably have a month or so. However, if it's talking about the next Outbreak map, we should be getting this patch next week. And after that, he is confirming that the zombie's health cap is going to be lowered from where it stands right now. He doesn't give a ton of information on that, but he does say it's going to be closer to the original. If I had a guess right now, I kind of think the sweet spot would be 60 to 80,000 for the health, which that would still be double the old amount of health that zombies had, but it'd be a lot less than the times four that they currently rocking in game. And I really do think 60 to 80,000 would be a nice sweet spot where even on higher rounds, a lot of the bullet weapons would still be chugging along and very usable. But not only is the health cap getting adjusted, we have two other things in this tweet that I'm very excited about. The next thing he says is also looking at sniper and melee buffs, which I think is going to be huge. You guys know if you watch this channel, I really think the snipers in this game need to be readjusted. The fact that regardless of which sniper you're using, you could use the ZRG, which is the highest damage weapon in the game, have it max packed and shoot into a horde of zombies, only hitting headshots. The max amount of zombies you're going to be able to kill is three. All the snipers in this game are limited to having three penetration power. So it doesn't matter how much damage they do. You will only ever be able to kill three zombies with one bullet with a sniper, which is definitely disappointing and a step back from other games we've seen. Using the PTRS, the DSR, the Draken in previous zombie games, those snipers could go through so many zombies. And yeah, you necessarily wouldn't be killing a ton of zombies, but you'd kill a couple and then you'd also damage all the other zombies in the horde. Whereas with the way it works in Treyarch, when you shoot into that horde, that bullet is going to damage a max of three zombies. You could kill all three if you're doing enough damage, but you're only going to deal damage to those three. Whereas in previous games like World at War, you could damage a ton of zombies by shooting one sniper bullet in there. And I really hope that's what they're adjusting with snipers. I don't think the snipers need to do any more damage. I think they're at a really good spot where they're at. 
I do think, though, they could be massively improved, and we'd see more and more sniper gameplay in Zombies if they took that penetration level from three and maybe moved it up to six or maybe eight, or it could even be upgraded when pack a punch. When using the weapon unpacked, it can maybe penetrate a total of two to three zombies. And then once you pack it, they could up it to a total of eight zombies or something crazy like that. So that would really be my hope for a sniper buff. And it's something I've been asking for for a while. I would really enjoy if they added that. But we're moving on to the next part now where he also talked about melee buffs. And it's no shock to anyone with the e-tool being probably my favorite weapon in the entire game right now for even early rounds and even high rounding the e-tool is just an amazing easy way to get to round 100 and it's pretty fun to use i'm definitely pretty stoked about a melee buff now if i had to take a guess of what these melee buffs are going to be on the old health cap regardless of what round you were if you took a knife fully upgraded it got a max pack maxed here you could one hit a zombie on any round. The knife was doing 40,000 damage. So even on round 1000, you were able to hit a zombie once and you would end up killing it with a melee weapon. However, with zombies having 120 health now, it takes three knives on the max health cap to knife zombies. I think they're just going to be adjusting it. So knives are going to be doing whatever the max health cap of zombies are. That way, whenever you hit the max health cap of zombies, you're still going to be able to one hit knife them. That's probably what I think they're looking at doing with the melee buffs. Not going to be too overpowered using melee weapons, but it's going to still make them more viable than what they are now once you get to the health cap of zombies. But yeah, with that, that's all of the new information we've got. Definitely let me know how you guys feel about that. How do you feel about them lowering the health cap once again? How do you feel about the potential sniper melee buffs coming next season? I'm pretty excited just to see what's going to happen with it. Hopefully we get all this stuff next week. If not, we might be waiting for the next map. Either way, I'm going to be covering all of this here. So definitely stay tuned if you want to see exactly what's going on. Whenever they do release the updated health cap, I'm going to go into zombies, test it out and let you guys know what the new health cap is. Until then, thank you guys for watching and I will see you guys next time. So as stated in the beginning of the video, here are the quick few teasers that Treyarch has just given us. So starting off, they tweeted out it's feeding time, and this is them kind of teasing the new Zoo map. We're getting an outbreak starting next season. Just, you know, a quick little warping intro scene. We did see a little bit of gameplay of this map yesterday. We saw zombies coming down a stairwell. I mean, it's just a new outbreak map. Nothing too interesting here. The tweet after this is what I find more interesting. The prologue to our next round-based zombies map begins on June 17th. This is them confirming that the next portion of the Outbreak Easter Egg will be launched on the 17th, and it's going to lead into the round-based map. This does not mean that we are getting the round-based map starting next season. It means that we're getting an Outbreak Easter Egg that's going to lead us into the next round-based map farther in on the season. This is the little teaser they're giving for us. W, the defectors are en route. We must move to extract dash r so a little bit of information on the outbreak easter egg and 100 confirming that we are getting it next week and that it is going to lead to the next round base map that's all the new information we've got gonna keep you guys up to date as always i'll see you guys next time peace